get ready for the dictation 10 seconds 5 seconds start ladies and gentlemen i have great pleasure in taking part in the seminar on unity and progress of the country during the discussions that were held this morning the subject was dealt with by men of experience in different walks of life i am sure their views will be taken into consideration by those who are responsible for shaping the destiny of the country i would like to share with you some of my thoughts in this matter in the first place when we talk of unity some may wonder why this is talked about over and over again at a time when we are already united it is natural for them to think like that i also agree with them to some extent but as one who took part in the freedom movement and who is interested in the unity and progress of this country i request them to look at this matter from a long range point of view because i have a feeling that there are some sections of the society here and there which are trying to disrupt the unity of the country after india became independent popular governments are functioning both at the center and in the states and they are doing their best to meet the requirements of the people and to raise their standards of living by implementing a number of schemes in spite of this due to the growing needs of the people they expect more and more from the government how this can be done is the question ministers at the center and in the states are elected by the people from time to time and there is no doubt they are working for the progress of the country and the people but on account of number of unforeseen circumstances we have not been able to progress to the desired extent one of the reasons for this situation is when there are floods in some parts of the country and a drought in some other parts we see that large sums of money are spent by the government in order to give relief to those affected by natural calamities in addition to this a sizable sum of money has to be spent for the defense of the nation without which freedom cannot be preserved it is only after meeting these inevitable items of expenditure the revenues of the government have to be spent for other essential items while doing so it is very often seen that the available funds are not sufficient to meet the needs of the people and there are grievances here and there taking into consideration these aspects the government and the people have to work together to make the best use of the natural resources and increase the national wealth for instance in areas where there is irrigation facility we must increase the production of food grains in areas where there is scope for industrial development suitable industries have to be started it is only by such a determined effort the nation can progress another matter is that while we have to take advantage of the latest developments taking place in the advanced countries and adopt them we have to see that in our country where there is plenty of manpower and vast areas of land available for exploitation we have to plan in such a manner as to provide work for all our citizens my view is that 
in a developing country we cannot allow anyone to remain idle without doing some useful work or other because only a nation which is active can progress letter dated 10th april 1983 from thiru m sarathi advocate rajaji salai madras to mrs selvan and company broadway madras dear sirs under instructions from my client thiru v ramaswami residing at 4 lust church road madras i am writing this letter to bring to your notice the following you are in occupation of the premises owned by my client at 20 broadway madras for the last 10 years i have to point out that the period of lease had expired last year and my client wrote to you a number of letters requesting you to vacate and give vacant possession of the buildings as the same is required by him for the expansion of his business you have replied in your last letter that it would not be possible for you to vacate it immediately because it would be difficult to secure a suitable building in the same locality and have requested for extension of time till the end of this year as far as my client is concerned the premises is required by him immediately as the building where he is at present running his business is required by its owner and therefore he has no other alternative than to get back his premises from you and shift his business to that place i am to request you to appreciate the position of my client and vacate the premises within 3 months thanking you yours faithfully